Hello guys, Kaima here. Today we're benchmarking my uh, 3060 Ti on Elden Ring. And so we're going to start with going over my specs. So obviously 3060 Ti, the CPU is the 5800X, not the new 3D sadly, and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And we're going to be starting at 1440p. For this run, we're going Samurai as a true um you know intellectual and for my xbox run i actually actually already went astrologer their vibe their vibe we're in the game running this at max settings 1440p wow everyone that's that's great wait gotta love this game sometimes now i'm hoping there's a a drop while I'm fighting the boss or something because this would be a very boring thing if my 3060 Ti pretty much just destroys this game and if you guys did not know this game is limited at the moment to only 60 FPS so you know yay I guess it runs at max settings oh where's the boss okay oh wow that was a hard drop So there is small drops during boss fights, which is great to know, I guess. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's horrible. Those lurches. And there's one thing I will take note of. This game looks so much better on PC at max settings than on Xbox, but I think that may be because it's running at a lower resolution to get 60 FPS. But what do I know? No drops when absolutely murdering a person, which is good. I mean, the game is semi-stable. I would recommend having a decent amount of RAM, considering this thing is taking about 12 gigabytes of it. This game does look really good though. And this isn't my first game from From Software. My first game was Sekiro. I didn't really I played Dark Souls 3, but like didn't really complete the game in the slightest. Kinda just started it, so. From compared to those games, this game is amazing. And the foliage no drops at all. Very little issues. I'm probably gonna get collapsed by this guy. Never mind. He wasn't he wasn't that hard in the slightest actually. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I feel so cool doing that. <laughs> Oh, a little frame drop there for our first little bit in a, bleh, yeah. Strength. Wow. Okay, I heard there's a huge drop right here, generally, walking up this. Yep, there's our ordinary drop. So it seems the game runs really well, even at max settings. I'm guessing people on 1060s are where, you know, that's like the most on Steam if you don't know, and that's where people might struggle a tiny bit, but I think most people will be fine. Let's see. Wow. Open world seems pretty decent. There's that mother fricker I never fought on my other account, but maybe I should. Give it a chance now. Unfortunately for you, however, you are made of No, I am not. I promise. Seems the open world the it runs very really well with little hitches. There's only hitches in some areas where, you know, like we just had it happen. Like there you go, one frame drop right there. Okay. Oh, okay, that was a huge frame drop. I don't know if you guys just saw that. I wasn't looking at it, but I felt it. 
And I definitely suck at this game, so it doesn't matter. You know, like, the game runs good, overall. It's definitely playable. If those hitches happen during a boss fight, that's, that's when I'd be worried. Those major hitches, like, just now, when I spawn in, I got 45 FPS. But that's not really a hitch that you should worry about, because that's just spawning in, but... You know the deal. Game's good. Looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, if you enjoyed, <laughs> I died again. Um, make sure to subscribe for more. And hopefully, when actually the, I'll probably do another one of these for uh, when the game actually comes out with hopefully a not just 60 FPS mode, because that'd be kind of nice. It actually made the game even easier, because then you wouldn't have to be forced to play, you know, a certain way. See you in the next one, gamers. Have a good day.